Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel. Tap the notification bell. I'd appreciate it majorly. So, this officer, Michael Owen of uh, Prince George's County, which is uh, outside Washington, D.C., in Maryland, I think it's uh, just south of it, and this was in Temple Hills, I think it's called, a suburb of, uh, of Washington, D.C. He's been charged with murder, you know, for the incident where a, a man who was handcuffed in his cruiser, his police vehicle, you know, was shot seven times. And I'm fairly certain the individual was actually, you know, struck seven times, you know, shot seven times, not just his gun went off seven times. Fairly certain of that. And he was he was charged with murder this afternoon. The chief of police basically announced it. I don't know, you know, if he's been booked and all that. I assume he has, if he's out on bond or not. I might get to that in the details in a second. And he's um, allegedly shot and killed, you know, William Green. He, uh, this is the individual who, who died. This happened Monday evening. The police were called, I think, around 8 p.m. A 911 call was placed about a man where a vehicle had struck multiple vehicles, supposedly. And when they got there, they found him. I think uh, in his own vehicle, something like that, and smelt something funny. Uh, they suspected he was under the influence. Initially, um, you know, in this press conference here, and I think this is the spokesperson. I don't think this is the chief of police of Prince George's County. Um, initially, it was reported that they smelt something that they thought was PCP. They called for... Uh, a uh, drug, uh, drug identifier expert or something like that, which I guess is a standard procedure in incidents like this where you have somebody who's under the influence of, of an extreme drug like PCP, if that's what they suspected. But they've backed off of that, that they don't, they now kind of say they didn't, they don't know if he was on PCP or something like that. <clears throat> um, you know, and um, handcuff the dude and put him in the front seat of his cruiser, which this spokesperson said is the way they do it. And, you know, like the reporter, first of one of the questions they asked is like, why didn't, why didn't they put him in the back? You know, and she said, that's, that's, we always do that in Temple Hills. And she said, well, wouldn't it be, the reporter actually followed up and said, wouldn't it be smarter to put him in the back, you know, more secure? And she said, this is, that's how we always do it. So he was supposedly handcuffed uh, with his hands behind his back, not in front, put in the police cruiser in the passenger seat and um initially they also said that he was he was seat belted for also but they've backed off of that as well so they've backed off of the peat smell of the pcp whether the guy was under the influence of pcp and whether the guy was actually seat belted but he was handcuffed with his hands behind his back you know and put put in the passenger seat of the front seat of the police car and the guy went around into um, to sit in the driver's seat, and this person here, who was giving this the spokesperson, um, said that they had two two witnesses that said they observed a, a struggle inside the car, and then they heard you know you heard shots, but now they say that's that's not corroborated. The two witnesses, so you know, basically the chief of police, and I'm doing some paraphrasing. It's kind of late. Um, you know, said he couldn't, could uh, he or she, stand, uh, Stawinski or something like that, couldn't come up with a viol viable explanation as to why this happened. And and kind of that's why they're bringing charges and pretty quickly. I mean, you know, this has happened Monday evening, Tuesday afternoon. They're charging the police officer with second degree murder, manslaughter, and uh, weapons associated charges or something like that, you know, which all of those are pretty, pretty serious charges. So, you know, um, it's, it's pretty much the whole story there. And um, so a Maryland police officer was arrested in charge of a second-degree murder and manslaughter after he fatally shot a man whose arms were handcuffed behind his back inside a squad car Monday night. Prince George's County Police Chief Henry St uh, Stawinski announced the charges against Corporal Michael Owen Tuesday evening, saying that after reviewing the facts of the case, the chief was unable to provide a reasonable explanation for the events that led to the deadly shooting of William Green, the individual right there. 
And um, I've concluded that what happened last night is a crime, Stawinski said during a press conference. Other off, uh, officers responded to the scene in Temple Hills, south of Washington, D.C., Monday night over reports that a driver had hit several vehicles, police spokesperson Christina Cotterman told reporters. That's who this person is. And this is her giving a press conference that evening, Monday evening. So, um, and this was the first version of events, the, the one about the PCP and the fact that we seat belted and the two witnesses. And there still may be two witnesses. They just haven't been cooperated. But the seatbelt and the PCP, they seem to have backed off of those two elements of the story. You know, what could have, I mean, what could have led to the officer, um, you know, shooting the guy seven times? I imagine there had to be some kind of struggle. And I don't know. I mean, did the guy, if his, uh, you know, uh, kind of do like a kind of trick move and move his his arms all the way underneath his his feet and come back up and get his get his hands in front of himself? Possibly, who knows? You know, and was he? Because um, they did, you know, emergency life saving procedures on the dude after they shot him. So after he shot shot the guy seven times, but um, it's not it's not funny at all. But um, but I don't know if they took his handcuffs off by then. Then the, 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 the officer has no body cam on either. Um, uh, so there's not going to be any video evidence. They are checking surrounding businesses and things like that to see if anything picked up the incident on surveillance, you know. Um, so. But uh, officers, officers responded to the scene in Temple Hills. Upon identifying the driver, police said the man appeared to be under the influence of an unknown substance and requested, and requested a drug recognition expert to assist them. The driver was then cuffed with his hands behind his back and placed in the front passenger seat of the police car, which Cotterman said is standard proto arrest protocol. Then the officer got into the driver's seat at some point while waiting for the expert, the shooting occurred. According to Cotterman, officers attempted life-saving measures and transported the man to the hospital where he died. Police initially said the independent witness, that independent witnesses saw or heard a struggle of some sort before hearing loud bangs. But Stawinski said Tuesday night the reports of a struggle were not corro corroborated. The chief also said that despite initial reports that police said they smelled PCP and that Green was seatbelted in the cruiser when he was shot, it did not appear that the psychedelic drug was involved. The chief added he could not say with certainty that Green was, was seat belted. I can't understand why you had him in the car seat, seat belted down, handcuffed, and then you shoot him. For what reason? What could, what could he possibly do? His mother, Brenda Green, told uh, Fox 5 DC. Stawinski said police believe seven shots were fired, adding that was part of the reason why police filed charges against the officer, in addition to second-degree murder, manslaughter, um, and, ma and manslaughter. Owen, who's a 10-year veteran of the department, is facing associated weapon weapons charges in connection with, with Green's death. So that's pretty much uh, the story there, man. And uh, I don't know. I don't know that we're getting the whole story yet. And uh, that's it, man. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.